Hey everyone, today we're looking at some more custom content for The Sims 4 for transgender sims. Specifically, we're looking at Trans Tape by Kaiso. As always, the link to this will be in the description so you can go to his Patreon and actually download this. He does a little write up here explaining what Trans Tape is and what the good uses are for it in real life, as well as just having a package file to download it. And we can see it comes in a bunch of different colors. So once we click here to download the trans tape and drop it into our mod folder, we're ready to go. So we have our lovely tester sims here. I'm going to use Paka for an example on a male simmed frame. And then I have Olive Tinker here who has a female frame. So it will work on both because actually what it depends on is the physical frame. So Paka, of course, being known as being a male sim that has a feminine frame and then uh, masculine for all of his other features. So I'm just going to go in and this actually works under any of the clothing settings, but specifically I'm going to do the swimwear because I think this is the best use case and we can already see it's here. So if I give a second swimwear option, we can toggle the tape on. Did not know the Paco was ripped. Very nice. And then we can see there is a multitude of different colors. We could do something close to skin tone. To do the trans flag even we got patterns here as well as some just generic colors since Baka's marked as male anyway he actually would be totally fine to have an exposed chest but this is still a good option for storytelling purposes so you can have the benefit of actually selecting male while doing a story around them not having top surgery or something like that one of the main things about your sim being marked as male is mean that they have access to facial hair because unfortunately that's not available to female sims even if you choose all of the other masculine settings for them they are unable to have facial hair so again this is a great way to show kind of somebody who is binding their chest but then still has facial hair and then if we take a look at olive so when olive is in a bathing suit you can see even their natural frame because they have female selected they wouldn't be able to have a naked chest. And then if we were to go in and choose just some random bottoms top, we're gonna have to remove the feminine tag here. And then we can see tape on them as well. Oh, some trans flags here for this one. And when the sim selection is for female, you do have this slider where you can select their chest size. So even with a larger chest size, we can see that the tape um, works quite well in terms of like a flattening and then it's still clear that this sim has a larger chest with like the the shading awesome. detail wow i didn't realize how annoying the spellcaster animation is and how frequent it is but yeah this is a great option so you can do this you could also do it um Definitely, you could you could wear this while sleeping. It's not really recommended, um, but even if you want to do like athletic tape, um, that's totally cool. I know that I said in one of my previous videos, yeah. one of the annoying things that I found about the binders, there isn't really a good use case for it because you actually shouldn't swim or exercise in binders because they really constrict your ability to breathe. Um, and you need to breathe in both of those activities. Um, trans tape in real life is much better because you can see like, since it doesn't fully close in the chest, there's a lot more room to take air in. Um, so I think this is like a better option because I find this like more realistic to being exposed as an outfit, you know, like where you wouldn't normally wear a chest binder with it being exposed as your outfit. I mean, obviously some people can, that's totally fine. Um, and I think also this could lead to not just like trans storylines, but you could even do uh, like drag king ones. But yeah, in terms of my opinions on this one, I think it's sick and he did an amazing job. I love that it's actually functional and the fact that it flattens chests. Uh, it's also cool to see the variety of options in here in terms of the colorways. I'm not really sure why it's locked specifically to the feminine physical frame. Because I, I don't know really what the back end is for mods. It'd be cool if it was in masculine as well. Because even when a sim... Wow, I didn't realize it changed hair so dramatically. Because even when like a sim is marked as female with a masculine frame, they still have like the chest that's like scalable and that they have to wear um, like a bra to cover all the time. And then um, it'd be cool to have this option here too. Like again, I do like the fact that it's available to like male sims that have feminine frames because it gives like a good variety here but it would be nice if it was available to female sims with masculine frames as well um but honestly it's not really a complaint because i i still think this is extremely relevant and you can definitely just change it to a feminine 
shaped sim Glarney. and then change some of the proportions that they have anyway. But yeah, that's it for me today. I just wanted to show this off. So anybody who is a little bit disappointed with the uh, actual Maxis binders, maybe you'd find this a little bit more interesting to use on your sims. Again, I was super excited to see it. I think it's a great addition to the game if you're able to play with mods. That's it for today and I'll see you soon with another video. <laughs>